everyone, I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and it's a pretty big day because I received my first YouTube challenge. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this because I haven't been challenged to do anything on YouTube or Instagram where I see a lot of challenges go, so right now I'm feeling pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. So I got challenged by my friend Terry from Organic Raw Roots Farm and she challenged me and a couple of other YouTubers that are homesteaders and I mean I'm not officially a homesteader yet but we're a backyard gardener but we're, we're getting there but to be able to uh, make something to inspire people to grow a garden even if it's a patio garden and I think it's actually made for people with patios. So, I have a power tool, and I am going to make arches, garden arches, for people with patios. So, let's see if this actually works, because I mean, I'm still up in the air on it. <laughs> So guys, I think the real challenge of this whole project is going to be putting together arches in pots that survive a monsoon. Because <laughs> if those of you guys that live in Arizona know, we get some heavy winds here. But these arches that I made here have lasted a monsoon season and that last huge windstorm that just happened. So. I'm pretty confident in myself <laughs> and these ones are put together with some zip ties and some metal pieces and some some t-bars so here's hoping it works <laughs> these are gonna be the things that I'm gonna use okay so it's gonna go right here by my door and I'm using two of these big um, wire panels I don't know what they're used for, but I use them to make my arches. I actually use them, I use three of them on my big arches up here. So we're gonna try it by only using two. I'm also gonna use two 15 um, gallon pots. So this is the one that had my carrots in it. So I'm going to actually take some of this potting soil and put it into this new one that I just got after I put some holes in the bottom of this. And I'm going to uh, put fresh potting soil in that one and put some of the old potting soil in this one. And then I'm gonna try and connect these all together. And if you are a gardener, homesteader, DIYer, you know, nothing is put together without a crap ton of zip ties. So we're gonna use a crap ton of zip ties. <laughs> Okay guys, so first step is complete. I put some holes in the bottom so that it has some drainage. And then I also put holes on one of the sides. Now this is where I'm gonna weave the uh, um, zip ties through in order to hold the arches and hold the metal pieces. So I've done it to this one. I'm gonna take all the dirt out of that one so that I can make holes in that one. And then I'm gonna half the dirt and then put the metal pieces in and then fill it up with dirt after I put it in place. So this is the first step, let's do the second step. Okay, so here's a little FYI. Before putting the holes in there, measure where you're gonna have the metal pieces because then you won't have a bunch of unnecessary holes in the side. Here's what I mean. So it's not super gorgeous, but nobody's gonna see this part because it's covered up with dirt. And as you can see, I have a few holes that are unnecessary because that's not where the metal pieces were. Good news is I have another one to do. So this one's gonna get measured before I drill some holes in there. But so far, this is what it looks like, guys. Okay, guys, so here's the thing. The arch isn't as big as I thought it was going to be. I wanted it to frame my door, but I didn't remember that I had bought three per side when I made my big arches. So since I only bought two, it's a little smaller. But I feel like that's perfect since I'm making this for a small space, so for a patio space. So I have another spot that I think is going to be perfect for it, but I'm going to show you guys the size of it. 
Okay, so right now, here's the size of the arch. As you guys can see, it goes just barely above my table that's on my patio, but this is the size of it. I just drilled the holes in there. This one's not attached, so I'm gonna move it to where I want it to be, and then I'm gonna attach it. Okay, so this is where I decided to put it. Right here in front of the uh, air conditioning. And now, as you can see, I zip tied the absolute life out of it. And I zip tied it in the middle too to kind of give it more strength. And over here, there's tons of zip ties. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all the ends of the zip ties and I'm gonna fill it up with soil on both sides. Okay guys, and just like that, I'm all done. So now I have arches that are gonna hold some green beans for me. And since it's gone on an arch, I still have space right here to plant more bush beans. So how exciting is that? Motorcycle. All right guys, so I'm all done building it and it actually turned out to be pretty sturdy once I added all of the dirt in it. It was pretty sturdy before when it was only half full, but it's really sturdy now with the dirt. So I actually think that it's gonna be a better idea that it's lower versus as high as I wanted it to be, like the big ones. But I think it's gonna be better because we have monsoon here in Arizona. And I think with it being in pots and it being a little bit lower to the ground, that's gonna make it to where it's not going to fall over during a lovely monsoon or haboob. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to uh, put Terry's video down in, down in the description so you guys can see what she made for a patio space garden and I hope that you guys find this very helpful. I remember when I first started thinking about gardening and I watched um, one of Jess's videos from Roots and Refuge and she has these huge arches that I thought were so beautiful. And I came back here to my garden and I sat down and I thought, okay, how can I put some of those arches in there? Because I want to have just melons and green beans flowing all over my backyard too as well. So when I put these big ones in, I felt really, really accomplished that one, they survived the monsoon. And two, I'm going to be able to grow a lot of things now because it gave me more space since now I'm growing vertically. And what I loved about this challenge is that I wanted to create something that was going to be very useful for people that are in apartments or townhomes like me and they just don't have the growing space. By adding a little bit of vertical space, you can then grow something that would take up a lot of space, you know, in a bigger backyard. So now if you have a if you live in an apartment, you can now grow green beans like binding green beans versus bush, bush green beans. Because for those of you guys that don't know, bush green beans give you so many cycles, but vining green, bean, green beans will give you a lot of green beans time after time throughout the whole season. So now you have the option of doing both all on your patio of your apartment. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I'm gonna call out some people. So I'm gonna call out All Purpose Moms. She's here in Arizona. And I'm gonna call out the Stivers Homestead who are in Kentucky. So you guys, the challenge is to create something that you can add extra growing space on your patio garden or small space garden. So good luck guys. I think I, I, think I did my challenge. I hope Terry is gonna be proud. I'm gonna put her video down in the description guys so you guys can see what she created and don't forget, grow yourself a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food.